Hey, wonderful recycling community out there. Today I'm in Bogota, Colombia, and I came to visit El Tornillo, a very fine precious plastic workspace making machines and molds for the entire South American continent. Here we are, I think El Tornillo should be somewhere there. That one. Andres, hola, mucho gusto. Okay, so here we are with Andres from El Tornillo. Uh, this is actually his house and I'm gonna show you, it's amazing. He's got a little workspace there in the back. Why don't we start by just you giving us uh, a little tour of your house sure. and workspace and then uh, we're gonna sit down, have a little interview, learn more about all that you do here. So how did you convince your wife to have a workspace in your house? It was simply mandatory. Mandatory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my house. So here's the dining room, here is the study where I have the computer and yes exactly I, de I make the designs of the machines then once the design is ready and I order the parts I bring them here to my workshop wow. and wow, where I assemble them. I think I measured it and it is like 10, 10 square meters. Okay give us a little tour of your <laughs> 10 square meter workspace. This system too to have all my tools. This is the work, the, the workbench. Uh, here I have some uh, machines in this corner. I have some parts where, uh, that are in process. They are going to be in different machines. I have the stock of the molds. Here I have um, some pot molds. I have more tools here. And I have here like some, some storage here, electronic components. I have here more storage. I have some reduc reductors, some tests. Here is a metal. <laughs> it's hard. Have everything in order. It's it's like a tool, another tool. So you came in the in a perfect time because I'm just assembling this machine, design of my own, but based on the precious plastic. Um, designs so it's the precious plastic barrel this is the same size 120 grams uh, or cubic centimeters but it has a motor the screw is the same piston so I can uh, make it more compact this machine is for Latin latas they are a musical band and they make their their musical instruments with uh, recycled material for now I'm like making and designing on the, the process uh, at the end I have to, to reproduce it uh, faster in a faster on the bazaar, right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> it will be on the bazaar. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you one mold that I make. It's a magnet for the freezer. It injects the magnet inside the plastic. So the mold it's, is made by uh, different layers of plates that make the, the shape of the magnet and make some engravements. And then another layer holds the magnet in place. A third a plate, steel plate, that it's engraved and it can be interchangeable. Okay. So you can make uh, different engraved magnets with just one mold. So this is the mini injection machine and the mini shredder. I use it to take it to different places and show the precious plastic uh, recycling process. We have here the shredder. It can shred like a, a bottle cup. It has these three handles. You can rotate it and shred that cup. The shredded cup will come out here. You put it in the injection machine and it will hit it and pull down the lever and the mold. It has like a, this coffee machines uh, system to hold it. After you inject, you just take it out and the product will come out from here. It is in the bazaar. I have sold uh, through the bazaar like five machines. Yes, uh, with this machine you can show how uh, from a bottle cup you can make a new product. I want to show you this product that I made. It's a soap bottle holder. It is uh, fixed to the wall with some screws. Yeah, so I use a lot of uh, laser cutting on metal plates to make some molds. And the shape is made by this more thicker layer and they are bent together. So the curve of the bend is the same in all of them. This laser cutting technique is very useful and very practical. It's a very cheap uh, process to make molds. And you can buy the molds on the? On the bazaar. Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, so here we are with Andres. I think my goal now is to learn more about what you do here with Atornillo and also just to inspire more people to start their own plastic recycling workshop in their house. Andres, you know, built his business out of this small 10 square meter room in his house. That really shows that anyone could be recycling plastic. Actually, what I tell about uh, precious plastic, uh, precious plastic made some machines that can be used by very small uh, workshops that can be constructed uh, with very few money. That, that's the best parts of precious plastic machines. So tell us a bit how you started. In 2012, maybe, I saw the version one. I wanted to make the plastic products and sell them. Uh, so I started with the injection machine. When I built it, I just found that I, need, I needed a mold. I started the process to making a mold. And I had the machine, I had the mold, and thought I need the plastic. So I had to make the shredder. Uh, so I started making my products, but it was a very, very hard work to sell the final product. And you from Precious Plastic, 2018, yeah. you bought like 20 pegs. That yeah. was my first sell in the bazaar. And then you, you asked me to sell the mold. And I thought, ooh, I don't know the mold, but, but it's precious plastic, so okay, I'll sell you the mold. So I placed the mold in the bazaar and I sold it to you and it started selling the molds. So you shifted your focus towards more mold yeah. making. It was selling very easily through the bazaar. So I just started the, making more designs and placing them on the bazaar. All right, all right, so it's 2016, you started, you know, sort of fiddling around with machine, you built your machines, then you started making molds, and then you started to sell molds and machines on the bazaar, right? Is that what you focus on at the moment? Yes, now I'm focused on designing new machines and making the machines here in Colombia and making a lot of molds for clients all over the world. The machines here in Colombia are sold uh, because they call me, because they find me in the precious plastic map. Share some numbers on uh, maybe how many molds you make in a, in a year? Or? I sell like uh, three molds uh, per month uh, in, in average. So that's uh, about what, 30, 40 molds a year? Yeah. But this November, yeah, I have sold like seven molds. Okay, and you also sell machines? Yeah, so uh, the machines, I buy the motors, some workshops made me the welding. So you are mainly designing and assembling here, yeah. right? I designed uh, the parts, uh, give the, these workshops the plans, the parts, and I hear assembly. All right. And how many do you sell those ones? Maybe this last half year has been one per month. And you were saying that the creations that you make here in your 10 square meter workspace, they go all around the world. Ooh, I have had clients of USA, Mexico, the Netherlands, China, Sri Lanka, Germany, Chile. Uh, I have sold like to universities, individuals. Would you be so crazy kind to share with the community a bit of your revenue? Can we in a year, <clears throat> it can be like 15 millions with machines, 10 million more. Okay, so uh, a year, some 25, 30 <coughs> 25 million Colombian pesos. Colombian pesos, yeah. Which translates into I think they are six, like six, six, six thousand, six thousand, yeah, six thousand okay. dollars. And how does that relate to a normal wage in Colombia? It is a high, a good wage, yeah. I know I'm living <laughs> from precious plastic. Is there a couple of projects that you want to share that you've done that are particularly cool? Yeah, so there are these Sahu guys, and they wanted to make the plastic, the recycled plastic glasses. They bought the mold and they asked me to make the machine. They showed me the machine that uh, Sferica used. And we are actually uh, designing and developing a new Arbor Press machine that we're going to be sharing open source hopefully very soon. I designed from scratch, I just saw the pictures, I searched all the parts and when I, when I finished, I saw it was very slow to inject. I proposed them to add a motor. Uh, this um, process uh, led to a nice coincidence. That was that I had to use a belt to drive the power from the motor to the um, reductor. And that belt uh, works like, um, like a fuse. When the mold is filled and the piston stops, the, the belt just uh, slips. So it works like a mechanical fuse. That's why motor machines uh, use belts to have like a mechanical fuse. So they are very good sellers again. And I just gave them the, the machine with the motor. Uh, and after one week, I saw they had this commercial in Cartagena with some models with uh, wearing the glasses. And they were just selling a lot of glasses. And I, I felt like, 
How? How? How if this imagine isn't working per yeah. uh, perfectly? But I think that's a, <laughs> a really a perfect example of how to be successful, right? Yeah. You're good at selling things, sell things. Don't try to make a machine, right? <laughs> Call a guy that can make a machine, yeah. that can make mold. Right? Don't try to do everything. Focus on one thing. Become very good at that and then someone else will do other parts. And I think that's how we can become a powerful ecosystem of recyclers around the world where everyone is very good at doing their thing. Yeah. You guys were sort of the pioneers back in 2016, 2017. But I think now with version four, with the sheet press, a lot of the new wave of recyclers is coming on board because yeah. they see your successes and they're like, yeah, I want to be like Andres from El Camillo. <laughs> and it's also thanks to you because, you know, people like yourself, you guys are fueling the community with machines, with molds. You're sort of the backbone that enables the Sahu, the people that are making uh, projects all around the world. So yeah. thank you very much for that. Okay, Andres, thank <laughs> you, thank you very much. First of all, for all the incredible work that you do Thank here. you, Mattia. And also for your time today and sharing your expertise, knowledge, and experiences with Precious Plastic. And it was my pleasure. All right, thank you very much, Andres and El Tornillo. I'm really, really blown away by this small little workshop in the center of Bogota, 10 square meter, and the amount of impact that they're having right here in Colombia. And I really hope that you can also see how it doesn't have to be a huge project. You can start small, 10 square meter, and have a great impact. And uh, hopefully you get inspired to start your own precious plastic workspace wherever you live. Until next time, ciao!